And thus, the new student council begins their term with Ino, everyone's favorite character. Ino Miko! I believe in you. Uh oh. It's alright, there's gonna be growing pains. Oh yeah, she's- I forgot, she's really harsh on people's behavior. There's an opportunity for growth here. For all of them. Yes! I love the cheek appreciation. You know, Miko wants to restrain. Restrain who? I, I kind of like the fact that you can't put out this girl's flame unless she's speaking in front of a room of people. That was a misunderstanding. <laughs> Pretty easy to wink out his favor, huh? Damn, she just comes in and just throws her weight around. Right, opportunities for growth. Oof. But she'll listen to Chika even though she's saying the exact same thing. Yeah. That's alright, I see you, Ishigami. Why are they always so cynical towards Chica? I feel like she doesn't have ulterior motives, except when it comes to games. Then she cheats. <gasps> Shots fired! In the student council room. This is a real test. What, you got a problem with cola and snacks? You know, this might be where we part ways. Mar marine cart, speaking of fish. I admit your knowledge of marine cart is better than mine. Ooh, what kind of rules are we breaking? Yeah, I'm sure everyone will follow that rule, you know, with their phones in school. It's for research. They all just get hooked up marine cart. I don't even blame them. He's Luigi. Speaking of needing to try stuff. This is gonna be one for the memory books. We're gonna treasure this photo one day. These photos. Sorry, he's distracted. <laughs> yeah. Very specific. Maybe it can be one of those things where it's so bad it's good. I think the way this benefits her is not forcing her to break the rules, but the fact that given her background, she probably just needs support a stable world where people regard her positively. I think a big part of her desire for control is the lack of it in her personal life. Although now I get the feeling I'm mixing up her story with Curry Girl. Does Eno like her Curry Mild? Quirks aside, this is a pretty solid group of senpai to hang out with. That alone will be worth more than the student council experience, probably. <laughs> So bad it's good. Hmm? Nailed it. But he will think it's cute though. <laughs> oh no, Urushigami. Always an innocent victim. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is a good one for the books as well. That is about as close as you can get to the Mario theme without doing the Mario theme. Got him. Now you're complicit. We got blackmail on you. What am I looking at right now? This this is happening. No, they fell down. They fell down. This is a classic anime fall down. And backstory. <laughs> Kaguya isn't frightened. Yep, student council doing really pivotal life or death business. <laughs> Like the tug of war rope, what would the school do without them? And... Yeah, well about that. You are locked in. Now it is time to run around until you fall on top of each other. That's the only reasonable thing to do in this situ situ situation. You're be shrinking some reason, Indiana Jones style. Run around until you fall on top of each other. Oh, why do I always fall for this? Why do I always fall for this?
Every time. I just give him way too much benefit of the doubt. I've heard about that. I've heard that adrenaline can be a glue as well in what seems to be one of those cases where the emotional or mental follows the physical because, you know, your heart's racing and you're super excited. It's a significant event. Somehow you connect that with the other person. I will definitely say having been through life or death experiences on multiple occasions with my girlfriend, there is something to that. It could be the physical, but it's at least the fact that you have this shared event that's really significant in your lives. I'm sure a lot of you watching heard the story of the time I swam my girlfriend over to an island on my back in the middle of the night and almost drowned. We actually had another island incident again, sort of unbelievably, about a week ago, this time involving a friend who was witness to it. The same island, we didn't check the weather and a typhoon started in the middle of the night while we were there and we just decided we had to leave. And this time we had an inflatable boat, but we also had a dog and a lot of gear and I had to make three trips back and forth to the island in the middle of the night in a really strong current and wind and rain rain and on the first trip we hit rocks and we all capsized and neither my girlfriend or my friend can swim so I grabbed her with one arm and brought her up to the rocks and then stuck my foot out to my friend and yelled at him to grab onto my leg and then it was time to make my second out of three trips to the island lost my bag in the rising tide somehow found it in the ocean it had all our phones and wallets in it couldn't even get back to the original starting point on the third trip because I was so cold and exhausted and the, the current was too strong. But I managed to dock somewhere else and, and meet up with them, only to realize that the boat had deflated in the process. So I think that's my final trip to that island. It's getting to final destination levels at this point where, like, I owe it something. What if it's legit, though? It's possible it's legit. Is she going to suspect him, too, if it is legit? Nope. Oh no, oh, she actually went with adorable this time, it wasn't just his fantasy. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. So she didn't do it, they just each suspect the other. That takes the edge off of it a little bit, not realizing that they're actually trapped. Whether or not they're using it, that... I'm so scared I'm gonna run around and we're gonna fall on each other. They're actually in trouble. But that vine really grew out of nowhere, huh? When will reality set in? This is it. You're just kind of in here. Well, that's forward of her. <laughs> it's the umbrella episode all over again. Except neither of them has a way out this time. I mean, whatever the cause is, it's working. Oh, when joy turns to hate. And, yes, falling on top of each other. It's not like she's falling down a cliff. You made it so much worse. Kissing at this point, though, would probably create more awkwardness than it solves. You would see less. A little premature. I'm gonna sweat right into her mouth. <laughs> and interrupting Eno. Always at the worst time. I'm actually kind of relieved that they didn't. It's not there yet, although I'm not exactly sure what it means in this in this case. It skips steps in the progression, and I think a key step is comfort. That hasn't been established. At a certain level, at least, you know, a certain rapport. They're still weirdly distant and awkward from each other. They don't even resemble friends. What are we looking at right now? A white hair? I was about to say a little bit young for that. Why is this so odd? There's nothing really bizarre about this. Is she fainting? I don't know what to think right now. I'm alarmed, but also don't want to get fooled again by Kaguya. Watch this be the one time I actually suspect her and she's actually just not well. Oh no! Well, now I feel like a jerk. Kaguya wants to be examined by her family's army of doctors. Cancel all my other surgeries. That's really interesting. I would love to get into that. Help us, doctor. Help us hear our heart and also our heart. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Speaking of fish, I admit the doctor's knowledge of fish surpasses mine. This should be a huge relief. I thought we were going to do heart transplants. How does he know then? 
学校活動で特定の人物のことを考えると鼓動が早く。When I said Kagi was in danger, I didn't realize that she was also in physical danger. 絶対心臓の病気です。こんなこと初めてなんです。Is she really not know? Is she really not, not aware of what's going on? 先端医療ですので医療費は相当高くなりますが、よろしいのですね。It's not my money. じゃあ何ですか私は顔を触られたくらいで倒れるほどドキドキしたって言うんですか He's really battling, battling with his doctor. 私は会長のこと死ぬほど大好きなことになるじゃない On the inside. ちなみに彼の写真とかありますかまあ一応ありますが。This doctor's going above and beyond the call of duty. These photos. 普通の写真はないのかい面白い子だね。<laughs> 君にとてもお似合いの。Such your expert opinion as a doctor? Doctor of love. ただ私は会長のことを。I guess he just wants Kagi to feel something. 理想的な人だと思ってるだけなんです。Have hope and, hopes and dreams. 最近心境の変化とかありませんか<laughs> Yeah, right? Am I the only one? Oh, that. Am I the only one who's concerned? I have no idea. Imagine if they had kissed, it would have been so much worse. Sensei has got a history, he's got experience. I want to hear it. I mean, <laughs> it kind of is. I wouldn't say that it was a very medical conversation. How much of Kaguya's outlook is based on the fact that she's been so disappointed by people around her? Initially, it's kind of weird that she would be so unwilling to admit her feelings despite her overabundance of feelings. I mean, how could she articulate all this stuff to herself about Miyuki and not realize that she's in love with Miyuki? But connecting it to what the doctor said about hopes and dreams, I doubt it's because she can't find them or can't find things she wants. It's probably more like it would be terrifying to do so. Because to dream or have faith in anything is in some sense a risk. And if you don't have faith in the ability to get what you want, why open yourself up that kind of damage. I do feel like we need a Dr. Ovie though. Ask anyone. Anyone. Did Yuki not visit? I guess there's no chance. And fainting. Or death. Fish is to Kaguya what? Birds is to attack on Titan, it seems. Is this a hint? Is this a hint that Kaguya's self-reflection and self-honesty is around the corner? Will she be able to make that leap? Recently, the tension for me in the show is not the tension between Yuki and Kaguya. It's the tension between the different sides of Kaguya herself and where I feel she could be versus where she is and all the static that's created by the, the two polar extremes. It is her chasm. Like, there's no way to get there without a huge jump and her risking a lot of the things that she relies on in terms of her concept of herself and where she fits in. But it's also like there's something gradual Gradually pushing her towards the edge, and the longer she stands on this side of the cliff, the more likely it is that she'll fall off of it. She's got to make the leap eventually. And what's the catalyst going to be? Maybe it could be Miyuki. If he really understands her and, you know, sees her plum and can get over his own sort of game playing and fears and anxieties, maybe that's a way that this all works out, where Kaguya not only gets Miyuki, but gets it in a way that has that kind of pre required growth that I feel is necessary for it to be satisfying.